Alright, welcome. Today I'll be showing you how to do the bonus challenges in the Hammerhead base at Hell's Kitchen. And the bonus challenges are to knock out five enemies with yankable objects and to get an 85 hit combo. The uh, suit modifications I used, well the suit power I used was the uh, Web Blossom because it uh, ups your combo while knocking out a bunch of enemies and they're very useful for those pesky brutes or the ones that have those weird whip weapons that I don't like and I also used the suit mod bio mesh so I could take on more damage without dropping my combo the other two suit mods are up to you but I found those to be the most helpful let's jump right in an appropriate phrase right here the first thing I decided to do was get the yankable objects out of the way while it's on wave one. Most of the enemies don't have those buffs like weird weapons or brute strength. So I decided to just stand by the keg stand. Well, it's not really a keg stand. It's more like a barrel rack kind of deal. This particular uh, base is at a uh, distillery that they're using as a front to counterfeit money. But I found it really hard to get the L1 R1 option to select for the barrel stand because there were yankable objects next door to it so I would recommend going ahead and taking care of those like run to one that isn't near enemies and go ahead and get the yankable ob the flingable objects out of the way so you can just worry about this one like this one right here was all by its lonesome which was probably the best choice but I kinda whiffed right there but I've only got one more dude to uh, knock out, so... Another thing you can do is uh, create space to move around. So I basically just destroyed this table with the concussion gadget. But after you make space, again, just wait for them to come to you. And try not to pick up the flingable objects instead of the uh, yankable barrel rack that you're going for. And just not get knocked out. Like I almost do about six times here. Almost there. There we go. From here you can go ahead and finish the uh, base. You can fi defeat all the oncoming waves and it will have completed your objective. And you can come back and reattempt the 85 hit combo. But I decided to devote all my efforts into going ahead and getting that 85 hit combo before completing the base. Because why not? Two birds, one stone. Now here the bio mesh comes in really handy because I'm pretty sure I get shot a few times and my combo doesn't drop. Like if you watch my health bar, oh, I didn't actually get shot just there. But you can take damage without dropping your combo. Just don't take more than one hit if at all possible. And this is where the web blossom comes in handy. I had a bunch of enemies surrounding me and I went ahead and uh, I think I got a, one of those dudes with the whips. I really don't like those guys because I can't go up in the air and continue my combo in the air because they'll yank you off the ground and I really don't like the brutes either so here I'm trying to web one up and I just go ahead and do the finisher move I'd also would recommend not using finisher moves let your focus bar charge up because when you're doing your finisher you've got fewer hits that you can do on one enemy to increase your combo now here I get a little bit impatient and take a dude up and I get 85 right before I get yanked down by that crappy whip dude who I really dislike but from here all you gotta do is survive till the till the end so I would try to hit, get that 85 hit combo as soon as possible that way there are fewer extra weapons and fewer brutes and fewer dudes with whips and then just survive to the end and that'll be it once you've gotten your 85 hit combo you can swap back to the default configuration that you would typically use when you're just trying to fight so I like to use the scavenger because it lets me uh, not run out of gadgets I'm gonna keep the web blossom though because I really like knocking out brutes and whips with one fail swoop anyway I'm gonna do my best not to die I'll meet you back up at the end Now, boys. Pete, is now a good 
time? Oh, as good a time as any! I decrypted the file you found in that last Hammerhead project. Don't tell me! Hammerhead's baby photos? Did he always have the weird skull, or is that more of a recent thing? No, it's... It looks like Hammerhead's been collecting information on the cops. On Captain Watanabe. Jury? Why would Hammerhead care about her in particular? There's additional clippings here. Watanabe got her first big win by taking down a ring of Magia traffickers. She joined the force with a very specific goal in mind. So she's always headed in for the Magia. I wonder why. I'm not sure. But I can tell you a story here. I'll let you go. Back to work for us both. But do any of you have a spare couple bundles for rent money? Just asking! Alright, I'm back. Thanks for sticking around to see the last guy get knocked out. I made one of these videos without commentation. If you like it better as a commentated walkthrough, let me know in the comments. I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.